In the past few years, we've discussed quite a lot of unusual stars. But normally these are stars that are maybe somewhat different, with certain properties that might be difficult to explain, but nothing too extreme. Stars that might be a little bit too hot, a little bit too large, or potentially a little bit too active. Now, today we're discussing something slightly more extreme. Actually, very extreme. A star system with what seems to be the largest tidal waves ever seen. Enormous tsunami-like formations that happen every few years, but are ridiculous in size. Completely incomprehensible by any Earth standards. Something that was once again discovered completely by accident, but something that might help us understand how stars evolve. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this unusual star system and what exactly is happening here, why it's happening, and basically break down everything we know so far. But I guess first, how was this even found? And interestingly, the star system was originally found when scientists were looking for dark matter. This was a project with a funny name known as the Macho Project. And what this project was trying to achieve was basically discover dark matter science by trying to identify minute gravitational landing effects coming from various objects right here in the Milky Way. This project was going on for about 7 years between 1992 and 1999, but as you might already be aware, it did not solve dark matter problems. It didn't really discover anything major, but it put some limitations on what dark matter could be. And because it was looking at gravitational microlensing effects, it was essentially looking for sudden unexpected increases in brightness. Which usually happens when a mass passes in front of a bright object, suddenly increasing its brightness overall. This is of course a very well known effect and has been studied for many decades now. But one of the discoveries here was basically a typical star system. A star system whose name you see right here, that was actually studied by several scientists previously and was eventually discovered to be what's known as a heartbeat star. A type of a binary system where two stars orbit with very eccentric orbits and because once in a while they approach each other really close, they end up causing a lot of tidal disruptions on each other's surfaces, thus changing the overall brightness of the system as each of the stars changes their original shape. And so they'll produce a kind of a pulsation very similar to a typical heartbeat, just because they generally change each other's brightness with every single approach. So this is a type of a pulsating binary star. These are not particularly unusual by themselves. I guess just to give you a bit of a visual explanation here, so this is what a typical binary would look like. And here is one with two stars with very eccentric orbits. Technically these would be heartbeat stars. Stars whose orbits at some point approach close enough to cause dramatic tidal disruption on each other's surfaces. Now this is something that's not very common, but it does happen depending on the overall architecture of the star system. But normally in this type of a star system, the overall change in brightness is not really that large. Even at the closest approach, the powerful tidal disruption increases the brightness by less than 1%. And though there are some exceptions, overall it's usually not really dramatic. But when looking at this star system, scientists discovered that the brightness here changes by about 200 times more than in other star systems. Here the brightness goes up and down by about 20%. Or basically the star dims and then becomes brighter by about 20% every once in a while. Actually with very specific periodicity. And with all of this lasting for approximately 2 days. And when originally discovered, this created a huge mystery. Nobody could figure out exactly what's happening here and why these stars are changing their brightness so much. And ironically, because of these strange observations, instead of a heartbeat star, it's now been nicknamed heartbreak star. Which will make even more sense when we start looking at some of the initial explanations. Although at the moment all this is only based on computer simulations and not detailed observations or detailed evidence. Either way though, the explanation is very interesting. Here as always we have two stars. But the larger star is really big, possibly 35 times the mass of the sun. And at some point during the closest approach, both stars start to affect each other, creating dramatic tidal effects. Now on planet Earth, obviously the moon causes tidal effects, raising the levels of water by maybe a few meters in certain locations. One of the most extreme examples is actually in Canada. Here the tidal range is approximately 16 meters, which is one of the most extreme tides anywhere on the planet. But that's nothing compared to what happens around the star. These two stars stretch and distort each other so much that the smaller star causes humongous waves 
on the surface of the bigger star, with size of the waves being approximately one-fifth of the star's radius. Let me say it again. One-fifth of the star's radius, that's about 35 solar masses. That's over 4 million kilometers in height, or as big as approximately 3 suns. Just to give you another visual comparison, there's Earth, here's the sun, times 3. With these absolutely ridiculous waves, very likely having very similar features to what we usually find in tidal waves on planet Earth. Just like ocean waves, they very likely start as smooth hills, eventually curling and breaking in a similar fashion, except obviously this is not water, and is mostly made out of plasma containing hydrogen and some helium. And just like the waves on the planet, they probably also leave a huge, foamy mass once the wave passes, essentially causing the star to disturb its surface and to thus change its brightness quite dramatically, with all of this potentially producing at least a few more effects. For example, the surface of the star potentially starts to move a little bit faster, making the star spin a little bit more as well, while also causing a lot of stellar gas to swirl around, to move around in different ways, and to possibly even escape the star, creating massive emissions. Which probably leads to a huge mass loss every time the stars come close to each other, but also a potential mass transfer that makes the smaller star a little bit bigger, and the bigger star possibly a little bit smaller. But more importantly, it releases an enormous amount of energy. All of this tidal energy is essentially converted to kinetic energy, with all of this happening once a month. This even changes the shape of the bigger star, creating a bulge that's about 50% larger than the poles, with the unusual observation of glow on the surface implying that this is actually the signs of those waves breaking right on the surface of the star, in essence representing one of the most extreme examples of binary systems or binary pulsating systems, also known as heartbeat stars, seen anywhere ever. And out of approximately 1000 such stars known to us, this is the only one with such extreme deviations, and there seem to be only 20 with overall large changes in brightness. Other ones are usually very mild. But chances are that because this star was discovered completely by accident, this is maybe a very typical type of an object. It's unlikely to be super unique. But discovering other similar objects would very likely require additional observations using similar techniques, involving changes in brightness that make no sense. And so at least for now, this is definitely the most extreme heartbeat star, and definitely one of the most extreme binary systems ever detected. Something we'll discuss more once there are more observations or additional discoveries from this unusual system. And so until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, check out all of the links in the description below, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.